Good morning, Painesville. I am Maggie Gilmore. And I'm Alex Whitcomb. And this is BNC TV. Welcome to your Bulldog News Station April 2012 broadcast. Recently, our high school choir has hosted a special recording performance to apply to perform at the Walt Disney Sing Off next November. that the choir was accepted and will be performing. Great job. The Painesville Art Council recently held their 7th Annual Community Talent Showcase where over $3,500 was raised to help support the arts in our community. Here are some highlights of this annual event. Oh, it's you, it's you. Society held their annual Box City event to increase awareness of homelessness. Together, they helped raise money for the food shelf. school segment. Hi, I'm Carter and I'm interviewing Mrs. Colbert about her retirement. How many years have you taught and in what grade levels and areas? I've taught for 41 and a half years and I taught second grade and third grade and fourth grade and fifth grade and title one so I've taught kids in every grade in our school. Is there a particularly funny moment you will always remember from your teaching career or maybe a special lesson that you really enjoyed teaching in your classroom? I don't know about a special lesson, but it's always fun to have when kids encourage other kids. So I remember a couple of times when, when kids in the class cheered other kids on when they were having a hard time. And I always enjoyed that. And to see how kids react with one another. That's the best part. What are your future plans after you retire? Well, I have some kids and grandkids in California, so we're going to take a trip there. And we might go to Puerto Rico, because it's one of our favorite places. And so when school starts next year, on the first day of school, we're out here. How about giving your colleagues some words of wisdom as they continue to educate students at PAS? Well, it's a great school with great teachers and great kids. And I think we just need to keep doing what we're doing and have patience and love for what we do. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Jaden, and we're interviewing Mrs. Willinger. How many years have you taught, and what grade levels or areas? I've taught for 30 years. I taught one year in St. Cloud, five years in Painesville, took 14 years off to stay home with my children, and then came back for the remainder of the 24 years that I've been here. And I've taught second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Is there a, a particularly funny moment you always remember from your teaching career or maybe a special lesson you really enjoyed teaching your, in your classroom? The thing that I enjoyed the most, and I have not been able to do it lately, is teaching tessellations, which is a geometry part of math. I totally enjoyed that. However, our standards now have been moved to different places, so I'm not teaching that. Um, a funny thing, there's been lots of funny things. I don't know. <laughs> Every year there's something funny. What, what are your future plans after you, you retire? After I retire, hmm, I'm going to spend time at the lake. I'm going to read. I'm going to garden, spend time with my grandchildren, uh, do hardunger, which is a cut needle work. Um, read. I know I've said that, but <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to enjoy life without a real schedule. How about giving your colleagues some words of wisdom as they continue to educate students at Pinsford Area Schools? Oh dear. Um, I guess I would say cherish the vitality of the students and be proud of the fact that you are a part of shaping the future. The FFA held their annual Drive Your Tractor to School Day, and luckily our, ca our cameras were there to catch a sweet glimpse of their sweet rides. The speech team has quite a season. We had all of our speech members at subsections placed in the top eight with all of us going to the section tournament. Five out of eight of us that competed finaled in the final of the section tournament. And two out of our members went to state. Alex Wickham, 11th grader, who is in the humorous category, and Rachel McLeod, who's competing in drama, also a junior. And Chicken from Thamesville. <laughs> First place with they one, one, one today. Oh, oh. Alex Wickham. The middle school parking lot recently looked like a Hollywood movie production with Mr. Thompson's science class creating commercials for a water conservation contest. Here are a few of their submissions. Wow, that's one drop per second. There's over 31 million seconds in a year. I wonder how many minutes there are in a year. 525,600 minutes. How many gallons of water could be wasted? Wow, that's 347 gallons per year. in the studio is our very own Troy Spates, reporting on recent senior sports news. Thank you, Alex. In sports news today, senior Josh Bungle was selected to play in the All-State football game in June. Maggie Gilmore was able to sit down with him and talk about this. BNC TV, and I'm Maggie Gilmore, and I'm with Josh Bungle. So, Josh, 
Tell us a little bit about the Minnesota All-Star Football Game. Um, in, on June 30th is when the game is, and they have us go to St. John's for a week beforehand to get our practices in and stuff like that. And then the game is at TCF Bank Stadium. Okay, and how does someone get selected for the All-State? Uh, I think their head coach has to nominate them to the Minnesota High School Association. And then the, a big committee comes in and they decide on which players to decide to select from all over the state. So there's people from way up north and way down south too. Nice. And how did the Paintsville football program help you in the All-State? Uh, all, all the people here were so supportive and um, the coaches and my teammates were all so good throughout the year. And pretty much this game is just a tribute to them and all their hard work. And it's a team effort more than an individual effort. And why did you pick St. John's to go to college? I don't know, it just felt right there. I mean, the coaches there were all so welcoming and all the people there too, so I don't know. It just felt like the right place. And this is BNC TV, and I'm Maggie Gilmore. Back to you in the studio. Congratulations to Andrea Schlung in grade 12 for earning all conference honors in girls basketball in the WCC conference, as well as being selected to the 2012 Girls All Area Basketball third teams sponsored by the West Central Tribune. And also congratulations to Brittany Hemmings, grade 12, for earning academic All-State in girls basketball. Back to you, Alex and Maggie. Thanks, Troy. In other recent news, Mr. Whaler's consumer science class has been working on a forensics lab and other interesting science experiments. We stopped in to get a close view of what they're learning. The basic overview is they started out dropping blood samples from different heights to dictate different velocity impacts when they hit a particular texture surface. Then they drop blood splatter from the same heights but at different angles. So you'd see what the droplets would look like at different angles. So you could tell which direction maybe the victim was struck at, how hard they were struck. Now in the splatter chamber what they're doing is they're taking in different forces and what kind of splatter does that give you and how big a diameter are the droplets, how long are the tails. The tails will tell you which direction of travel and things like that. Ultimately, we're doing here, we, we did in three parts so far. We did fingerprints, we did hair analysis, we're doing blood analysis, and then ultimately, at the end of the quarter, we'll culminate in a crime scene and they'll have to solve a case based on the evidence. By looking at this, we can see how hard you hit him and in what direction it came from by the tails from the blood, and then also uh, just like the speed it was traveling by how big the diameter of the actual blood drops are. So that's pretty much what we're learning right now and testing. The land transportation class led by Mr. Gunther is another class that students are learning practical lifelong skills. Here's more information about some of their recent projects. Hi, I'm Mr. Gunther. This is the land transportation program. Uh, our program is pretty comprehensive down here. We work on just about any kind of cars, four-wheelers, three-wheelers, motorcycles, uh, any kind of projects. We're into a few things right now. We've got a Corvette we're rebuilding an engine for, doing some performance work. So that's a 72. We're also doing a 64. We're doing a clutch, resurfacing the flywheel and some other body adjustments, new wheels and tires on that one. We've got all things too, like Vegas. We like to work on some of the old stuff. We've got a Vega, we're doing some performance work, doing a carburetor, doing some linkage work right now, customizing the customizing the bracketry to make all the linkage work for the carburetor. <clears throat> Amongst a lot of our other projects, we're doing transmissions, we've got some repairable work, we're doing a hood front end for this one so they can still get some more use out of the life of it. Plus we've got a bunch in the background back there too, different body work, cab corners. Uh, we're getting a Camaro prep for paint that will get painted soon by a local body shop that works with us at our programs here. But great program, real comprehensive. Uh, we can work on just about anything you want, automotive, uh, small engines. It's all good. I mean, it's... Uh, My name's Josh we'll Schmidt, and you. I've got a 1978 two-door Impala hardtop edition. Uh, originally, the car was bought two years ago at an auction in Albany, and... The very first year I brought it into Landtrans here, we tore out the motor and the transmission, you know, gave it a rebuild, freshened it up a little bit, and a couple aftermarkets here and there where we could squeeze them in. And, and now this year, second year, we pretty much stripped all the paint off of it, got a couple buddies helping with that, and, you know, uh, the paint scheme's probably going to be like a, uh, a blue with a white pinstriping. And when it originally came in, it was a primer gray, and 
need a lot of TLC, I guess. Uh, the best thing I like about the land trans program is, you know, all the open space and tools are provided to you and everything. I know I brought my own just for the easiness of it, but, uh, you know, the instructor's good. He helps you out quite a bit along step by step and um, good people. What I like about land trans best is uh, working on old vehicles like the one I bought and being able to fix, like, when there's a problem with my truck and... That's it for this episode, and remember that you can always view this episode and all our past episodes, as long as many other of our district videos, on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Painesville Studios. This is Maggie Gilmore. And I'm Alex Whitcomb. And from all of us here at BNC TV, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.